charges could soon be filed against the soldier accused of going door to door, killing 16 Afghan civilians to be charged with. And charges could be coming tomorrow, is that right? This story, now we are hearing from the Michigan woman who was walking and texting, maybe you've done it, well, she fell off a pier. Bonnie Miller fell into a river and had to be rescued. Miller says she's humiliated but lucky to be alive. As Tony Spehar from affiliate WBND reports, she now wants to warn others about it. Our thanks to Tony Spehar from affiliate WBND for that report. This just in, want to show you, we are talking college basketball. March Madness continues tonight with the tip-off of the Sweet 16. It's a big one. Syracuse battles Wisconsin on CBS. Forget about a hot dog at one ballpark. They are serving up a monster three-pound fish sandwich. Take a listen to this. The minor league ballpark at East Ball Rim without even jumping. Paul Tiny Sturgis holds the Guinness record for being the tallest professional basketball player on earth. And while making a slam dunk look easy, he finds simpler everyday tasks a real challenge. Richard Roth has more on this giant of the courts. Built for the court, isn't he? Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul turned down Secret Service protection because he says it's too much money. Here's what he told Jay Leno. Congressman went on to say if he did have protection, his Secret Service code name should be Bulldog. Trayvon Martin's family and supporters, they're planning to protest again. Called Welcome back to HLN. I'm Susan Hendricks. This is certainly a big day in the investigation into the death of Florida teen Trayvon Martin. His family will meet with the Justice Department today, later today, about the incident. It has been almost a month since the unarmed 17-year-old boy was shot dead by a neighborhood watch leader. His name, George Zimmerman. He says it was self-defense. Trayvon Martin supporters are holding a massive rally tonight at 7, planned for 7 o'clock. Reporter George Carol is covering all angles of this, George. And as I understand, the venue had to be changed because of the expected crowd tonight. We're also asking tonight, was George Zimmerman a wannabe cop? Jane Velez Mitchell has an exclusive talk with a neighbor of Zimmerman's who says the neighborhood watch captain, as he named himself, followed him on multiple occasions. Watch Jane at 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it only on HLN. In France, a tense standoff is over. It took 32 hours after a police and a raid and a shootout took place. Take a listen. The former Rutgers student convicted of a hate crime for spying on his gay roommate says he didn't act out of hate and he's very sorry for what happened to his roommate, Tyler Clemente. Talking politics now and Mitt Romney is clarifying a comment one of his um, advisors made comparing his campaign to an Etch-a-Sketch. Listen to what the advisor said about going from the primary to the general election. Candidates and the Obama campaign jumped on that comment. They said this means Romney could easily change his positions on the issues. Jules there. Romney tried to clear up the comment yesterday. He said it referred to starting over for the organization of the campaign, not where he stands on the issues. Candidates are now getting ready for the next primary. That's in Louisiana this Saturday. Is he or isn't he? That is the question. MTV's The Situation is... A missing cheerleader's family is waiting to see if the human remains found this week are hers. Haley Dunn was 13 when she disappeared more than a year ago. Reporter Jessica Reyes with affiliate KTAB talks with her grandmother about waiting for the news. You certainly feel for the grandmother. Our thanks to Jessica Reyes with affiliate KTAB. Now, Nancy Grace will continue to... ...in Washington State is walking around without a human heart. Pretty amazing. His name, Chris... Good for him. Christopher Marshall is waiting for a donor heart that could take months or even years. The situation says, yes, I am in rehab. The Jersey Shore star says he voluntarily went. A massive tree came down on top of a car. It is huge. While the car was... There's a big mystery going on in a small Wisconsin town. Residents there, they're hearing mysterious booms and blasts underground. No one has been able to explain what's causing this. Some are wondering if their town is safe. CNN's Jim Spellman town hall meeting uh, where a woman... I want to talk to you about Sugarland, the group. They want to wait until May to give depositions about the deadly stage collapse at the Indiana State Fair in Indianapolis last year. We covered this extensively. Soldier accused of killing 16 unarmed Afghans, including nine kids, could be charged with homicide side as early as tomorrow. Not today, as his attorney first said. Staff Sergeant Ryan. A tree comes crashing down on a man's car while he was inside of it, driving home from work. He's okay. Great stories coming up. A third grade teacher, she is battling cancer. She's getting...
What do you think of this one? Google wants to send ads to your cell phone based on what it hears in the background of your calls. Here's an example. Let's say you're at a concert. It will be able to tell what kind of music you like. PCWorld.com says Google is patenting this idea of listening in to what's going on around you. So let's say a baby's crying. It will send you ads for maybe diapers. If you're at a football game, it figures out where you are and tells you about nearby restaurants, whether you like it or not. Maybe it can tell if it's really cold outside, send you ads for a beach vacation. You get it now. Google says you will be able to turn that app off if you don't want it. Superheroes big and small are coming to the rescue of a Florida teacher. Beth Myers is battling cancer, but thanks to Iron Man and War Machine, she is getting money to help pay her out-of-pocket costs. Ashley Porter from affiliate WTSP explains. That father and son is really amazing. That was WTSP's Ashley Porter. Now, Beth Myers, the teacher, her insurance covers her treatment, but she has to travel to Arkansas to get it. A charity fund is also helping lower her costs, along with the father and son. Here comes the bride, and you can't miss her. A nearly two-mile long story, our top story, Trayvon Martin's family and supporters, they are planning to protest again tonight. They're calling for justice. Jane Velez Mitchell wore a hoodie on her show and asked the question, am I suspicious now? Dr. Drew also in on this. He's asking the tough questions about the story. Did the police chief handle this right? Did they accept Zimmerman's statement too fast? Watch Dr. Drew tonight, 9 Eastern on HLN. People usually turn to counselors for help, right? Police say this high school counselor... A high school drug counselor is accused of allowing students to have sex in his office. Then he secretly videotaped them in the act. He is facing a number of child pornography charges. David Louie from our affiliate KGO in California has more details on this. So David Louie for that from KGO. A woman is using horses to help people from a military vet to children. They say Lori Wilmot is a breakthrough woman. Here is HLN's Robin Mead with her story.